Hey, how about it out there? Can I get a radio check? Uh, 10 4, thank you. Kansas City, Missouri, no, Kansas City, Kansas right now, soon to be in Kansas City, Missouri, we're heading to get loaded in Kansas City, it's only fitting to start off the video with a nice little traffic snaggle though. Our reload is on the Missouri side. For some reason, I or no, yeah, it's on the Kansas side. For some reason, I thought our reload was on the Missouri side, but no, nope, it's on the Kansas side. The Miss Missouri River is right, right. Well, if you weren't looking at a my ugly mug, you'd be looking at the Missouri River. Now the last time we were here many moons ago, they had you drop your trailer back here and then their shag driver grabbed it, put it in a door, but then you could hook onto it and take it out of that door. They just found it a little bit easier because <clears throat> things are really tight for them to put it in the door. There's a little bit more room back here now though, so things have Things could have changed. It was a long time ago when we were here last. Nope, we get to back them in. I figured we'd be back in them in because, well, there's room now. There's times where you can barely fit a truck down there. But we do have to go back to the truck, sit and wait for a phone call. For them to give us the door where are my manners how are you great and amazing beautiful outstanding overachiever just flat out awesome people doing today we started off our day in uh, 08 kansas where we unloaded a load of numbers and then uh from there we uh, we slept there last night and we slept good and we slept hard i didn't think i'd be able to go to sleep because well it was off of our normal graveyard shift sleep pattern but I was able to, and I, I slept pretty good. I actually slept a little bit too good. Um, I wanted to be over here. There's no appointment time here. It's a first come, first serve. But I wanted to be over here about two hours earlier than what I am right now. Because now I'm going to question if I can get unloaded up in Sioux City once I get loaded here. Because Sioux City is about 300 miles north of here. But once we got unloaded there, went to bed, came here and well now you're all caught up our weather today right now it's 55 degrees it's the middle of the coldest the deadest part of winter it should be just flat out miserable but it's 55 degrees i can handle that i truly can all right
All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, don't start, man. Either you're saying so, or you're saying all right. Well, there's not much I can do about it, all right? Dad, I'm telling you, man, they're boycott. Ah, uh, they love you too much to leave, man. Stop saying man. Well, so? Stew, dude! That was quick. 20-minute wait, not too bad at all. All right, we got door six. I would love to give you guys a beautiful camera angle back and in and everything, spinning the trailer around, the whole works. But if you remember a few videos back, two videos back, I busted my favorite camera mount, so. And for some reason, I cannot find that one on Amazon anywhere. So we're gonna have to get really creative with camera setup. Not here, of course, but in the future, if I can't find that on Amazon. Excuse me, it's time to open. It's the one physical part that I have to my job is swinging doors. That door didn't want to swing. I had to put effort into it. How dare you? Man, if I wanted to work out, I'd be like a flatbed or something like that. Come on, oh, I had to push that door. That took a lot of effort. A lot of times people ask me if tinted windows make a difference in my truck. I run 20% tint. This would be the only time that they make a difference. Rain and dust. You almost have to have them down when you're backing into a lot of spots. When it's bright and sunny out of course, but because you get some glares. I didn't want to put that passenger side window down because, well, it's really dusty here. I didn't want that dust coming in my truck. She's already dirty enough. Just a couple extra cracks. It's only been there for about seven years. There you go. The striker is coming out and I need to get it to a shop. I do not know what's wrong with it if you... Oh. Hear that? There's something bouncing around in you, Mr. Striker. I can receive. I just can't uh, talk out. So, we are going to take Striker Striker out and put in said 22 year old Cobra 29 LTD Classic. Wow, I haven't ran a Cobra in a long time. I've had that Striker for about 12 years now. Okay, let's clean this one up, throw it in there, and I think it should be the same size. What? 
I feel you're judging me again. Yeah, I do. I got one for you guys here. Oh, if you're wondering, yes, the air conditioner is on. The dust is too much. I got one for you. You see this right here? Look at that. Flip that to channel 9. Who remembers why they have a fast switch to channel 9? Come on. I'll give you just one minute here. One second here. Put it in the comments. Why? Channel 9 is the emergency channel. Used to be. Nowadays, well, I don't think any law enforcement or anybody runs channel 9. Okay. Alright, let's jump down to 19. Put our southern draw on and see if we can get something talking. Hey, how about it out there? Can I get a radio check? Hey, how about it out there? Can I get a radio check? Oh, 10 4, thank you. Well, we got to come back. It was faint. I don't know how far away he was. That's going to change our complete dynamic at night. It's going to change the whole setup of the sights we see at night, everything. I put a lot of my night recording around my striker, so we're going to have to get that fixed. ASAP. I am going to take my lava light off of it. I might put my lava light on this one. We'll see. They're, oh, they're loading us. There really is no fancy way for a lava light to go on top of a CB other than super glue. It used to have a frog up there. So it turned. <coughs> sorry. So it turns out I super glued that lava light on really good the last time that we uh, it fell off the other night, Opie. So it's got to stay on there. Um, so I'm going to see a million comments. Where's your lava light? Where's your lava light? Help me in the comments, guys. Tell them it's a different radio. Here comes that strenuously workout we talked about. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of energy. never gonna guess what I just did I just watched a YouTube video on how to set up a CB radio you think my memory would not be gone after uh, well it's probably been eight years since I had 10 12 over 10 years since I've had this radio in a truck and it's a Cobra 29 which by the way um, is one of the most reliable radios ever. Well, I've told you this radio is over 20 years old, 
earlier I was giving it some stress about being a baby, but I, I'm betting that radio is in more trucks than a person would think about. But we were driving up here and we've driven 200 miles and that thing didn't make a peep. I had it turned open by the squelch was down, you know, low enough. All I heard was skip. That's chatter from guys all over the world with uh, other big radios. I'm almost wondering if I don't have it set up right. And also in that video that I watched, the antenna light, when you key it up, if that light comes on, you have a, an antenna issue. And I'm almost wondering if maybe I have an antenna issue versus a CB issue with that striker. Because watch this. See that light right there? That's supposed to tell me I have an antenna issue. The antenna on this truck, it's got two antennas. We only use one. It's actually just as old as the other CB. No, eight years. Seven. Seven or eight years old is how old that antenna is. I'm wondering if I have a little snag up, maybe some coax. It's got a little bend to it. Maybe some salt up in there. I may need to dig deeper into this. That striker might not be done. It might not even need repairs. Because this thing's telling me that I'm having antenna issues. Which would make sense. Because the striker would flash white at me. Which usually means there's an issue somewhere. Are you bored yet? I'm kind of bored just talking about it. So I'd understand if you're bored. It is next to almost impossible to try to set that radio and see if anybody even listens to me or can hear me. Like you do a radio check and then usually you'd be able to find somebody that would, yep, sounds good. And then you say, well, here's where I'm at. Well, how far out are you? You know, trying to get somebody to uh, just tell you how you sound, talk to them. You can't do that anymore. So, so unless you got a buddy running around with you, you're almost at a loss whenever you try to check out a CB. All I can do is move a bunch of dials here and there, set it up the way I think I know it's gonna work, set it up to where I think it's working, but at the end of the day, I still am gonna check the antenna and the coax out. But I can't get anybody to answer me. When we get closer to Sioux City, because that's where we're going, if I haven't told you. So we're going from Kansas City to Sioux City, Iowa. When we get closer up there, I'll try again. Every once in a while, I can hear some guys talking on radios in, in the city, inner city. So maybe they will uh, yell back at me. I would just like to get a 10-4. You know, we got one earlier when we were sitting in KC, but a really distant one. Really distant, weak one. Well, that's rock. That's grass. Uh, grass all the way down here we actually tried stopping we're in Missouri Valley right now we tried stopping over there at Mickey D's not to eat but just to uh, use the restroom the lots too muddy but then we tried stopping somewhere else and what I should have done is stopped at the rest areas the rest areas got some pretty good grass usually You want to tell them how much of a good boy you are, Opie? Opie, do you want to tell them? I'll tell them then. Somebody ate all of their dog food in their bowl and drank a full bowl of water last night. I was impressed when I woke up this morning and seen it was all gone. It's a very loud little box. Okay. My precious, run free, run free, all the grass, or walk beside me. It's the way it works too. Come on, Oak, we got good grass, let's walk around. Thank you, Bank, I appreciate your good, ooh, it's even soft, soft grass. Opie, soft grass in February? Ha ha ha, we are spoiled. 
Oh, that feels good. It's not Oklahoma soft, but it's soft and cushy. Very nice. Isn't it very nice? Get a radio check. Does anybody hear this? Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know if the CB's working or not. I had one guy say he could hear me. Um, with as open as I had the radio to where people, I should be able to hear you from a long ways away. So I don't know how close he was, how far. I know he was too weak for me to be able to say, hey, here I am. Whereabouts are you kind of thing or you know, how far away from you this spot are you? Because if I would have asked him that 
he, he would have came back to me. He sounded like somebody who wanted to chitter chat, but I wouldn't have been able to hear him. I could just hear, make out the words, yep, it works. Hey, you forgot to turn the flashers on. <coughs> Come on. You forgot to turn the flashers off so we could check lights. We've made it back up here to Sioux City. That load of pallets, it comes here to the yard. And then one of our uh, city drivers will grab a hold of that. Come on, German. We got some good grass over here. A little bit of snow left up here versus down south. It's a little bit cooler, sitting around 36 degrees versus I think we we're at 65 at one point today. At least it felt like we were. could have at least told me that the mud was fighting back it's not only getting on the truck or getting on my floor it's now spread to getting all over my face horrible we have 7,240 pounds in the trailer of insulation in the trailer it's loaded from front to back bottom to top and it's heading for South Dakota.
gone the wrong way. Not for our delivery. I think I'm at a construction site. I just backed in off the highway. We'll talk more about that tomorrow or in the next video, I guess. I think I've gone the wrong way with the CB though. I, uh, when we were going across up highway Interstate 29, I did another radio check. I got a guy to come across. Hey, sounds good, man. And then when we were going across Interstate 90, I did it again, just to check. And he says, man, you sound great. But here's the problem. They sound horrible. Like earlier when I was talking about how uh, that guy sounded like he was, just, I only made out, I could hear you, you know, really faint. That, that, that's what's going on now. I, 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 I've basically gone the wrong way because the other CB I couldn't transmit. This one I can't receive. Well, I can, but I can barely receive. I think it might be in my antenna. I'm going to check my coax all out and then uh, if it all looks good, I'll check the antenna. I think the last time I fought antenna issues, I switched sides because, like I said, I only use one antenna, but I have two. I think I pulled the antenna off of the driver's side, put it on the passenger side, then switched them already. So I think I might have to buy a new antenna. I think, and if it's not that, we'll dig deeper into the coax. But hopefully, I can get it figured out. And uh, maybe, maybe the striker doesn't need work done. Maybe it's on uh, my part, on the truck side of it. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? That was a quick 475 miles today. Like, really quick. Surprisingly quick, Opie. He's out. He's sleeping. He doesn't care. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, throw a like down there. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Pretty much the routine at the end of these videos, isn't it? You guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.